Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel a little out of practice because it has been probably three weeks since I have filmed a video, but this is an exciting one. It's one of my favorite type of videos to film. It's a full face of one brand. I've done a lot with this brand, but I'm choosing to do another look with this brand because starting on April 18th through April 22nd, Chantikai is having their philanthropy sale. And this only happens once a year. Typically when they have their other sales, certain percentages off, philanthropy collection is not included. So this is the time to stock up. It is buy one, get one 25% off. I do have a special code for that. It is MD dash earth. I will put it on the screen as well as down in the description box below. This is not sponsored. They did not ask me to do this video. I am simply showing one of my very favorite brands in a full face of makeup and also giving some swatches of all of the products that I have in the philanthropy collection so that if you want to take part in the sale, you have an idea of what kind of colors you might want to look into. So let's jump in. I have lots of these full faces. If you want to search my channel to see other looks that I have come up with using these products, the first thing I'm going to do is work on these dark circles. The only thing I have on my skin right now is my SPF. I also have my brows done and primed my eyes. For a corrector from Chantikai, I like to use the Le Camouflage Stilo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen in the shade three. It has a little bit of a peachy undertone to it. It works really well at covering up the darkness. It is more of a sheer to light formula. So if you're someone who really doesn't like a ton of coverage, doesn't need a ton of coverage, or just simply prefers sheer to light coverage concealer slash correctors, this is a good one to look into. It is not so peachy orange that I could not use it by itself, but because of my level of darkness and because I like just a tad more coverage underneath the eyes, I do top this with something else. But again, if you're someone who doesn't really need it or want it, it could definitely work on its own. I'm just gonna press that in and get that first layer of coverage for these under eyes. The first philanthropy product I'm going to talk about is not new to my channel, not new to my very favorite product collection, and that is the Future Skin Cushion Skincare Foundation. If I had to pick, as far as foundations go from Chantikai, this is going to be my favorite for all over the face. I absolutely adore this cushion foundation. It is the most expensive foundation. So a sale is definitely the time to purchase it. It comes with a cushion in it, and it also comes with a refill. So it is a total of 0.84 ounces that you're getting. And I just put my very first cushion in my empties, and I use it quite a lot. A trick to these is when you feel like you're kind of done, take some tweezers, pull the cushion out, turn it over, and stick it back into the compact and you feel like you've just opened a brand new cushion. It has a ton of product that sinks down to the bottom. I flipped mine two or three times before I needed to actually refill it. I am in the shade Nude, and this is in support of the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust and their work with elephants, and every compact gives a bottle of milk to a baby elephant. If only it came with a trip to actually feed that bottle of milk to a baby elephant, then it would be absolute perfection. But again, I'm in the shade nude. This does not come in a ton of colors, but I am very, very, very confident in saying that one color can cover a vast number of skin tones. I know someone who is probably two or three shades darker than me and also uses nude. Now it does come with a little puff, but I like to use a damp beauty sponge. So I take that and just press it into the cushion, pick up the product, and then just tap it on the skin. Now, I've talked about this foundation a lot. And when I do talk about it, I tend to mention the fact that it is a sheer to light coverage. You are not going to get a lot of coverage from this foundation. So if you're someone who only likes full coverage, you're going to want to look at, at one of their other formulas, but it is the most blurring of all of their foundations. It's kind of magic in a compact because when I apply this, I almost feel like nothing is going on my skin. And I'm like, the first time I use it, I'm like, well, is this really doing anything? Like, I almost feel like I can't even see it. But then when you look, it just looks, and I'll do a close up after I just put the foundation. It just looks like 
perfected blurred skin and it is extremely lightweight so you are not going to feel heavy product sitting on your face this is probably the product i'm going to talk about most in this video because it is the product that i love the most it truly is so beautiful it's one of the only foundations that i could not set with a powder because i am someone that sets foundation a lot well all the time but when i was testing this to first review it i didn't set it with a powder and i didn't feel the need to it wore so well throughout the day it blends well with powders with creams but again it doesn't have the most full coverage it is a tad buildable so when i just put like a little second layer on my cheeks where i tend to get the most red it does build up a little bit but you're not going to get more than this amount of coverage See, it's just so beautiful. I don't feel like it made my skin any more dewy than it was with just the SPF on, but it's just like a blurred, perfected finish. I do not need to talk about this. While the Cushion Foundation is probably my number one out of all of the base products for the entire face, which is hard to, it really is hard to rank them because I love them all. The Future Skin Gel Foundation is definitely my number one for concealer even though it's not a concealer. I use it as one and I have for the past probably six months now. And I think maybe I've used another concealer a total of six or seven times in those six months. It just works wonderful. I use the shade Vanilla in this for my under eyes. I could use Vanilla all over. I tend to reach for Nude, but it is one that I feel like whatever color you have in the foundation could also work as your concealer, unless you're someone who really likes to brighten up the under eye, and then you might go a couple of shades lighter. Nothing wears better on my under eyes throughout the day, ever, full stop, end of story, period. I'm still testing other concealers because, hey, who knows, maybe something will one day beat this out but as of right now and as of the past six months and as of every other concealer i've tried so far it hasn't beat it out it's not the most full coverage but i find mixing it with this pin helps in adding a little bit more coverage without looking too much i don't like something that's super duper full coverage because then it just brings attention to my under eyes it brings attention to the fact that i'm wearing makeup maybe something a little too full coverage for my taste and it can also accentuate the fine lines that seem to pop up more and more every single day for powder my favorite powder to pair with the cushion foundation is actually the hd perfecting powder i don't know why i feel like this just really pairs up nicely with that it's a little more matte than they have the illuminating um, press powder as well it's a little more matte than that but it's not flat matte and it doesn't take away any of the prettiness of the foundation, especially throughout the day. Obviously you can see that that maybe mattified it a little bit, but as the day goes on, the natural radiance of that foundation comes through and it just looks like really pretty perfected skin. Bronzer, I am using the Real Bronze in Serena. I have this in Serena and Goa, and I like both of them. Goa is going to be a little bit on the cooler side, and it's also going to be a little bit darker than Serena. I probably, out of the two, choose Serena more, but I love both of them. And they are a baked gel -A formula, so they're very forgiving. And I kind of just like to stamp them onto the skin where I want that bronzer to be. The forehead, just a little bit on the cheeks just can't go wrong it really never has never messed up for me i'm gonna use a powder highlight today i typically will go in with the cream illuminator in sheen but i just feel like using a powder highlight now this is a limited edition one that i don't think you can get anymore but i do want to say that when they come out with their limited edition collections typically they always have a highlighter in them and they are some of my favorite powder highlighters this is definitely something to look at when they do launch their collections, which I feel like is about once a quarter because I haven't found one yet that I don't like. This is the Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. I don't remember what collection this was in. Let's see. And I'll have to see if you can still get this. I'm not sure. So pretty. It's, a, it's, it's like a gold. It looks really gold and yellow, but it comes off on the skin just the perfect shade for me. So let's talk about blush. This is another product in the Philanthropy Collection that 
is one of my very favorites. I have every single shade. So I am going to put up a picture right now if you want to pause the video of all of the shades swatched with the names next to them so that you can get an idea of how they look not only by themselves, but also compared to other ones if you already have certain colors in your collection. It's really hard for me to pick one that I like over the other. I think it just depends on what shade you're wanting, what eye look I'm doing, what's gonna look best. They all are just very, very pretty. And I have a brand new one I'm gonna show you how they look when you first get them. And they all have a different animal embossed on them, not only on the product itself, but on the packaging as well. For instance, this one is the shade Emotion, which is helping honeybees survive by supporting the Zert, I think it's Zertes Society and their efforts to protect the bees and their habitats. So every animal that's on the blush is the animal that's being supported by the purchase of said blush. So this is how they look when you first get them. Very pretty silver compact. I love the size of this. It's perfect for travel. And it does have an overlay over the product. See the gold in that? Once you use it once, that overlay is removed and you just have the color of the actual blush itself. But it's very, very pretty presentation. And again, help support whatever animal is on the blush itself. I'm gonna use Joy, which is supporting wild horses. You can almost not see the embossment of the horse itself because I use these so much. But I thought with my pink sweater, I would pick a pink shade. And this is probably my favorite true pink shade. There's some coral pink shades. Um, there's Butterfly, which is a very light pink shade. If you have fair skin, that one's gonna be perfect for you. Just so pretty. And like many of the blushes in my collection, I really love using them as eyeshadows, which I'm going to do again today. But before I do that, I'm going to spritz my face with the Pure Rose Water from Chantikai. Mm, I'm not a fan of rose, but I really like how this smells. It's very fresh and light. The smell does not linger. If you are worried about that, it absolutely does not. But I like to spray it and then use that sponge to kind of just spun, spun, use the sponge to press it in. And again, it just kind of takes down the powderiness and brings everything together. Now let's talk eyeshadow. Before I get into the star of the show, another product within the philanthropy collection, I'm gonna take a little bit of that Joy blush that I used and place it lightly in the crease as kind of the anchor color for the look. Using blush as eyeshadow is one of my very favorite things to do because it just pulls the look together. Using that same color in your eyes that you have on your cheeks truly makes a difference in how the look comes out in the end. So let's talk about the luminescent eye shades. Again, I will put up a full picture of all of the swatches that I have. I do not have pangolin or elephant. So there are eight shades total. I only have six, but I'll put them up. You can pause the video again so that you can see how they compare to each other and on their own. I do have favorites. I think probably out of all the ones that I have, the one I use the most is cheetah. And the second most used is going to be lion. I just love the bronze shades and the champagne colors so much, but there's not one that I have that I have not used and really liked how the look came out. I'm gonna use Rhino today, which I don't think I have ever, ever used on camera, but this is basically something you've seen before. It's a technique that I like to use with these because the look always comes out. You don't have, really have to think that much about it, but you know that it's always going to look good. So I'm gonna take the darker shade of what I choose to use. Now, just like the blushes, whatever, animal that is on the front of this compact is going to be the one that benefits from the philanthropy that Shantikai get when you purchase that product. So this one is described as a sophisticated olive and it is also benefiting the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, which helps protect the rhinoceros from poachers. So I'm gonna take just a flat brush and I'm going to dip into that product. Now, some of these, they all have a sheen to them. They all have a shimmer. Some of them have more shimmer than others. I feel like probably Cheetah has the least amount, but as you can see, I am doing this after my entire face is done. So I don't worry about there being fallout from these because I rarely ever get it. 
really such a pretty olive shade. If you're someone who wants to explore a little bit into color, but you don't want anything bright, just something a little bit different, this is gonna be the type of shade that you're gonna wanna look into. Now, because I am doing this during the day and I want something a little bit brighter, this is definitely more of like a smoky eye look. For nighttime, for me personally, you wear what you wanna wear when you wanna wear it. I'm going to go in with Cheetah, which supports the Cheetah Conservationist Fund. And I'm gonna take the other side of that brush and do what I often do with this shade and put it right in the middle. Just to brighten it up just a little bit. I really like that green and pink, the blush together. You can also use your finger with these shades if you want even more pigment. See how that just applied a much more opaque layer of the shadow. And then I'm gonna take the blush that I used and use it underneath just a little bit. You could go in with a different color if you're someone who thinks pink makes you look a little sick if you wanted to, but I like using typically always the same color that I use in the crease for underneath the eye. I was gonna use an eyeliner there I Kajal, and I was actually gonna use black, but I really like how this is looking without one. I feel like it's fresher and a little more open, but if you haven't caught my other Chantica videos, I really do like the I Kajals. My favorite color is Jasper, but Amethyst is very pretty. Black is very black. They're very pliable. They have some playtime. You can smudge them. I have used them in that way in a lot of my looks because they work so well. At this point, I'm going to do mascara. I'll do that off camera because it's pretty repetitive, but I'm going to use my Chantecai Longest Lash Faux Sils Mascara, which is so beautiful. It has growth properties in it. Love it so much. I cannot even tell you how many tubes I have gone through of this mascara. And then when we come back, we'll talk about the last philanthropy product, which is some amazing lip products. Okay, and finally, I have three lip veils, and this supports the elephants. They all have beautiful elephants on the packaging. I love lip veils so much. If you've watched any of my videos, you know my favorite is Honey Pot. I'll swatch. I only have three of these, so I'm going to swatch them just on my hand for you. These are very moisturizing. They're not heavily opaque, but they definitely have color, as you will see. So that is Honey Pot right there. Definitely a Mandy color. This is Myobi, Moabi, which, but it is a summer color for me because it is a brighter pink and so very pretty. These have a little bit of a sheen to them, which I like because I don't feel the necessity to put a gloss on top, which I typically do with most lipsticks because I'm a gloss person. I like a sheen. And then this one is Tambodi, which is more of a brown nude. So even though I have some pink going on, I still think I'm gonna use Tambodi. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some of the Moabi because it's a brighter pink. I'm gonna mix the two. See, it's not a super matte look at all, but very comfortable. One of my favorite lip products. The Lip Chics are also amazing. So that is it. That is the finished look. A couple of other products that support philanthropy are the sunscreen mist, the special edition tiger bio lifting mask. And then they're, again, their limited edition collections almost always support some kind of philanthropy. So I will have everything listed and linked per usual down in the description box below. I do use affiliate links. So if you choose to use them, you are supporting my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And don't forget about the code that will get you buy one, get one 25% off of these products. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.